Do you like our new music? I love this music. It's great. Peppy gets you in the mood for a great wakes day. people up. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, good morning, everybody. Sylvia's back today. Sylvia Acevedo is here filling in for Molly, who is out here. sick again today. She'll get better. She's got to get better. It's her it's her birthday on Monday, so you oh. can't be sick on your birthday, and it's always a bummer to be sick when it's nice out. Yeah, having a cold in the summer just is no fun. It is no fun, but it seems like that's when they always come, like kind of that start of the summer. It sort of weans us in and mm -hmm. keeps us out of that nice weather sometimes. So some of you are homesick today, too. We feel bad for you, too. Um, well, this was interesting. This morning on Yahoo Shine, um, there was an article where they were talking about the 10 cities that spoil kids the most and also the least. And I think a lot of the cities that top the, the charts of which ones spoil their kids the most are not going to surprise anyone because what would your guess be? Well, New York. Yeah. Most and then L.A. next. Okay, close. Actually, L.A. is down further on the list. The two top ones are uh, oh, New York, New York, and then their hipster neighbors, Brooklyn. They're, they're the two most spoiling cities. Um, Los Angeles was actually down on that top ten list. I think it was like number nine, mm -hmm. so a little bit further down. One that was a big surprise on the top ten list, Minneapolis. Yeah, that does surprise me. Mm -hmm. Midwestern town. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Minneapolis, but I can see that because if you ever go um, take a trip to visit relatives in Minnesota or something, and you're kind of around the lake area, the you know the lakes, there's there's a lot of money there, mm -hmm. and there's also you know Wyzetta and the big lake Minnetonka, and there's a lot of kids being spoiled there. Sure. <laughs> well, you know they have I to all have their for boats someone. and their sea dews and everything, right? Sure. Yes. Okay, but this is what's interesting. There's a least spoiled list. Do you think Milwaukee made it? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Why would you have guessed that? Uh, because we're hard Midwesterners. <laughs> and we have to walk to school both ways uphill. Uphill in the in cold, the snow. in the blizzard. That's right. We don't put up with any of that coast nonsense. Guess what the least spoiled city in the nation was? It is a Wisconsin city. Is it? Clintonville. <laughs> Dave guesses guess? Clintonville. <laughs> it's Madison. Oh, huh. The least spoiled city in the United States is Madison, Wisconsin. Now, right on under that is St. Paul, Minnesota. So its neighbor from Minneapolis says, we're not going to spoil our kids that much. We're going to have them go outside and play with the ball. And then Milwaukee is number three on the list of least spoiled cities see, in the surprised. nation. So very interesting. I thought it was really great, you know, and, and it really kind of shows that, yeah, we're get outside and go play with a bat and ball kind of people. Absolutely. And I like that. I think it's very good. Okay, um, so we want to know, actually, we asked, is there anything, first of all, that you do to spoil your kids? I knew you were going to ask me that. Yeah, because we okay. want to know you, too. Go to our Facebook page. Tell us what's one thing you do to spoil your child. What do you do, Sylvia? Well, I don't know if this is a fair answer, because okay. I, I do something to spoil them, but it's really in my own interest. I give them rides to and from school. You and think that's spoiling I, your child? I do. I do. I think kids, uh, I walk to school both so ways uphill in the yeah. snow, carrying my backpack, carrying my <laughs> musical <laughs> instrument. Um, I, I do think kids should walk. Um, but I don't make them walk because I want the safety aspect. You know, times yeah. have changed. So, um, so I most of the time give them rides. Not okay. always. I'm starting, now that they're older, I'm starting to have them walk and, yeah. Okay, so this is just kind of off topic, but you said carrying your instrument. What sure. instrument did you play? First French horn and then saxophone. Really? Right, neither of which fit in a backpack. Can you still play them? No. Okay. Mm -mm. No way. <laughs> I was going to say, we're going to have to have you bring those in sometime. No way. Mm -mm. Well, I think that's interesting. I was not spoiled as a kid either. I had to walk to school. My mom worked, and she raised three of us alone, so I, I really don't think we were very spoiled either. But I do definitely know some people who were. Um, and I think a lot of people who are spoiled, uh, we talked about the other day, are recent graduates, because mm -hmm. we were talking about you know what they sort of get for a gift oftentimes. And the monetary value of what they get is a lot. But these are some gifts that you could gift someone um, that are smart ideas for a grad. They're new apps. Oh, okay? that's a great idea. Do you idea. use any apps that you just can't live without on sure. a smartphone? Sure, I do. Is yeah. there anything you can think of? Um, Runkeeper. Oh, that's a good one. Right. I like to be able to, to keep track of the distances that I run and, more mm -hmm. importantly, the elevation and the pace. Okay. So I like those. Okay. Yeah. Those are really good ones. I think these, these idea of giving apps for, yeah. for grads, I think it's a great idea. And, um, boy, they better enjoy it because when they go off to college, they're going to be living a poor life. Yes, so. they are. So enjoy those $3 apps. <laughs> okay. Right. Here's a real quick one that I'll share with you. It's called the, the Vocabador. 
Vocabador? Vocabador. Yeah. Okay. It's a vocabulary test you can buy, and it's basically it's $1.99. I purchased it, and this is actually a challenge that you can take. And so you pick like who your mascot is and who you play, and then it gives you, so I'm the Tiffinator right there, you can see, <laughs> and I'm playing against the Falcon. And then you can actually, you know, start playing, and they give you different words, and you have to see if you know the actual terms. So they talk about the fact that you can brush up on new word choices, making sure that you are a better writer, different things like that that you can use. Right, so need that for the, the essay, for the essays. Yeah. Yes, and it makes it fun again. Remember when you used to do that in fifth grade? This is a good one to start brushing up. You can gift that to a grad. And welcome back. Well, we asked earlier on Facebook, what's one thing that you do to spoil your child? And we got some really good responses. We both kind mm -hmm. of loved Marie's answer right away. She said, by paying their debts, which we call offspring bailout. Offspring bailout. <laughs> I want a parental bailout. Right? I'm amazed at how many parents pay for their children's entire college. Even if you have the funds, I personally think you should pay for your own schooling. That's my personal opinion because I think it makes you very responsible for I it. I think so too because <laughs> then you, you know, you're motivated to get good grades. Yes, absolutely. Um, Rhiannon said her kids are spoiled with family activities like weekly movie and pizza night, scavenger hunts, but, uh, walks, bike rides. She said they just ask for them all the time. And I would say I think that is a great way to spoil your kids because it's fun family activities and things that are really kind of wholesome for the whole family, you know? Well, I got people saying that they're spoiled by food. Oh, that's food good. They food to spoil their children. Holly says, I buy their favorite foods when I shop. Each kid has their favorite, mine or older, and I still do it. Laugh out loud. Oh, that's cute. And then Ruth Ann says, ice cream. If one, I have four children, if one has a game, we stop after for ice cream. Oh, well, that's, that's nice. That is